I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Foolishness of Unbelief. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. A tax deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. Keeps us making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults. So, <clears throat> oculi, eyes on the Lord. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. The traditional gospel lesson for oculi Sunday is from Luke 11. And I just want to take a look at it real quick because it, it sort of exemplifies our Christian life. He cast out a demon, verse 14. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, the people marveled. He, and they, But others said he cast out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. While others, to test him, kept seeking other signs from him. Signs from heaven. Just, okay, a couple of things. First, you can't win if you're Jesus. He does a miracle. He casts out a demon out of a blind man. The blind man sees... Um, the guy's life has changed and everything's great. I'm sorry, a mute man. Um, so the mute man speaks. And then a couple of things happen. Everybody sees the same event and they interpret it differently. The Pharisees look at him and like, uh, who could it be that gives you such power? Could it be? Hmm, who could it be? Could it be Satan? Um, some of the other ones are like, look, we'll believe in you if you just give us a sign, which I'm sure like Jesus is like. Now, the point of it is, for our observ observation and pondering is that we do the same thing. I mean, this is the way our life goes as well. God gets us out of one tr fix, uh, one trouble, and, and he saves us. He literally saves us. We pray to him and he saves us. And then we get done with what he's done and we look at him and we're like, did you really save us? Did that really happen? We are literally like uh, the, the sort of a modern day parable of the person who's, who's drowning far from shore. I've, I, one of my fears is drowning. I've almost died twice. from I've almost drowned twice in my life. Once when I was a little bitty and, and once when I was younger, my older brother saved me, pulled me right out of the water. Both times. Um, and we're swimming, swimming, swimming to the shore, and we don't think we're going to make it. And so we pray to God, Lord, if you, if you save me, I will give you all that I have and become a bunk. And then we drive, we, 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 we paddle faster, and we get a little closer to the shore, and we're like, God, if you save us, I'll actually give you all that I have. And then as we get closer, God, I'll give you half of what I have. And then we get to... Um, Closer to this for God, I'll give you a third of what I have. And then we're, where our feet are on the ground, we're like, God, that was cool. Thanks. We forget everything that he'd done for us. And we go back to our life as usual. And we see him in our life, rescuing us from sin, death, and the power of the devil. We see victory in our life. We see stuff, and, and with beyond a shadow of a doubt, for us, it's a factual statement that Christ died and rose again. But we doubt. And we live. And our doubt is not confessed. Our doubt is actually, is actually lived out. We live out our doubt. We live and act as if there is no God. Or not one that cares for us. But if, because if there was one who cares for us, we would live a different way. And all of this is is for us to confess to God the absolute utter foolishness of our unbelief and doubt. Abraham believed hope against hope, and we'll talk about Abraham tomorrow. Abraham believed hope against hope in the Lord's words and promises, despite all the external circumstances. Our faith, our confession for Lent, what we might give up for Lent, is this business of of living as if God didn't rise from the dead and acting as if God didn't die for us. 
and, and despairing like there's no resurrection. Because there is one. It's actually more true than anything else. You see, God's our God when he saves us. And God's our God when he doesn't. When, he, when, he gets, when we get to shore, he's our God. And when we, if we were to drown, still our God. And through it all, he deals with us in mercy, not condemnation. In grace, not punishment. He gave up his son for us. And an objective look at our life, and that's what we're shooting for today, comes with the confession, I don't live like I should. In fact, I live like, like you didn't rescue me. And then once we've gotten that fig leaf out of the way, we can see how foolish our unbelief was and how the external circumstances may be to the contrary. There's a lot of evidence in our universe that God is for us, more evidence than he is against us. But even if the evidence mounted that said that he was against us, even if the hurricane directly targeted us, even if the tornado fell on our church, we would still praise God because it doesn't depend on the external circumstances. It depends upon the word of God, his word and his promise to save us. It's an interesting thing. We look at the folly of our unbelief that, you know, the external circumstances really do show that there is a God. They kind of do. It's hard to miss, but we're not going to trust those external circumstances. The answer to unbelief is not, I'm going to get some faith. The answer to unbelief is more Jesus more Jesus Christ and him crucified. And really, that's what Lent's all about. Thanks for talking a little bit with me about the folly of unbelief. If you want to discuss this further, go ahead, leave some comments in the, the channel and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Have a blessed day. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.